Hello and welcome back to London Live News. My big fat widow's Christmas wedding tells the story of forbidden love in a festive setting in the heart of the West End. As with previous years of the show, all funds raised will go to Great Ormond Street. Joining me now is the director, Matthew Hyten and Lucy Pierman, who's the lead role. Good to have you with us, both of you. Thank you very much Hello, indeed. Hello, thanks for having and us. And for coming in. So this is not your traditional panto, you say? No, What no. does that mean? It, it means that uh, it's a joke that got out of hand more than anything. There's a lot of... Uh, weird comedians who who started doing it five years ago and yeah it's 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 just it's just an anarchy anarchy on the stage but for a good cause mate really good you mentioned in in its fifth year now just give us an idea of, of, of how it's evolved but like I said it was genuinely a joke in one of the Edinburgh fringes there's a load of us that started doing weirdos together which is a, a night for alternative comedians essentially um, and someone joked that we could do hook the Spielberg film in its entirety on stage and we did it at Christmas for Great Ormond Street and then yeah year on people just said are you doing another are you doing another and it's grown it's grown and now we're in the West End somehow mate. In fact, Lucy you've done Edinburgh now you're in London why did you want Am to get I? involved with the project? <laughs> um, well Lucy, I, why? I'm still waiting for the RSC to give me a role but while they don't ring. I just do stuff with these guys. Oh, thanks, mate. No, no, no. Oh, is this like I, second best then? No, no. Oh, yeah. it, you charmer. I, I came to see this show two years ago, and I couldn't believe it. I was like, how, how can I meet them? And and I just thought it was like nothing. There's nothing else like it. It's total anarchy, but it's just. Yeah, it's, it's brilliant. Stupid. Give it's us a really flavour. Give us a flavour of what it's like for people that you know obviously haven't seen it yet. Um. Well. <laughs> Uh, everything's made of cardboard. Everything. Pretty much, yeah. Adam, who uh, who started Weirdos, he basically he is holed up in his house somewhere with more cardboard than you can ever imagine. Everything's sort of DIY, homemade. It's just silly, stupid, it's fun. And we just, yeah, everyone just has a good time. It's and great. It, it all goes to a good cause, doesn't it? Great Ormond Street. Tell, yeah. tell, tell us more. And is, is that a partnership that you've had for a little while? Uh, no, it started from doing Hook, because... Uh, but we didn't know the legality of it, so because they, I think they own the rights to uh, to Hook, so we're like, well, if we give them the money, we'll I was get say, away you've got to keep them it. sweet, haven't you? Yeah. And, and you've raised a, 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 an impressive amount of money. Yeah, so far. yeah, we we raised sort of past years we've got up to seventeen grand, um, and like we've been in sort of smaller venues. I mean, the uh, last few years we were in a, a basement in a in the middle of a bank that Bob Slayer, who ran a Christmas grotto there, he just. Uh, found this room and we turned it into a venue and then this year we didn't have that so we somehow ended up in Leicester Square Theatre. Well I mean also you, you had Humble Beginnings, Bethnal Green, Working Men's Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's Green. Quite, quite exciting transition between the two isn't it? How, what's it like performing in, in a venue like the Leicester Square Theatre? Well we haven't done it yet. But We've obviously rehearsed. You've rehearsed presumably. We, we have, yeah it's nice mate, they have, they have green rooms, uh, heating, heating's always good. All the mod cons. Nice. Seats. Seats are nice. Where you can yeah. sit down. Yeah people can get a beer and not worried about poisoning. The lit the roofs don't leak. Oh, God, he's got everything, hasn't it? Everything. And Toilets. Finally, if people are interested... This is your hat, by the way. This is my hat. Oh, this yeah, is for you we to got put this. on. So when you, come, when you come and watch the show, you have to wear that hat. There we go. Here's Just it. wear it all, all December. You see me? You look great, mate. <laughs> you look like a <laughs> rapper. Camera form, is it? OK, there you go. Oh, yeah. You have to wear that all day. Do I get, like, a, a cameo role, perhaps? OK, well, maybe, maybe, maybe too much. Mate. Maybe. Um, details of where people can see it, please. It's oh, Leicester Square Theatre. Theatre. Yep. Leicester Square Theatre in London, yep. England. Yep. Um, when, what dates is it, oh, Lucy? OK, it's uh, Wednesday the 7th. Of December. December 2016. Nice. Excellent. Thursday the 8th and Friday the 9th. And what time is that, Lucy? Oh, well, it starts at 9.30, but Friday's nearly sold out. In fact, I think it... I think, yeah, it's, 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 it may have gone, but yeah, we've got to get, Thursday, get in there quick. Perfect. Well, thank you very much to both of you for coming and telling us Thanks about it. Thanks for having us. See you, so see you there. See you, see you soon. There. Don't take your hat off. Right. If you visit one or two of London's many luxury hotels, you may spot that the staff are wearing a new uniform. It's all down to a design studio in Waterloo called Studio 104. They create bespoke uniforms for several of London's hotels by including a piece of their history in the design. The team behind it told us more. We link 